how to make your Mexican ponche, estilo gringo. All right, you're gonna use the hibiscus flower that you can get at the Mexican store, also called Jamaica in Spanish. You got your pineapple, you got your guava, you got your sugar cane, you can get the frozen one, or uh, right now during uh, the uh, holiday time, you can get the actual sugar cane. You've got piloncillo, which is brown sugar. And I used quite a few of those in here. So I put uh, probably about five of them in there. You want that flavor. All right, I've got the um, cinnamon sticks. Now these are not the gourmet cinnamon sticks. These are the ones at the Mexican store. You want them to look a little more rough. You've got tejecotes. Um, I know I said pineapple already, I'm just uh, making sure. You got your apples, got your nance, and you've got this uh, group of uh, a um, ponche already prepared that then you can take and pour into what you're making. I like to use that as like a base. Take all of that that you see, put it into your about 32 quarts. Uh, you could go a little lower if you don't want that much, but this gives you an idea of how much I'm using to make this much of uh, ponche. And uh, we've got a little bit of uh, sugar um, in there already, the brown sugar, and that's already been done. I'll be adding in these. All right, let's actually just add these in now. So we're gonna take the uh, the sugar, there we go. We've got the cinnamon. Let's see, we will add the uh, flour in a little bit later and we're gonna use a um, strainer so that we can pull it out later. So we're gonna use this strainer. All right, we'll show you the process when it's closer to done. All right, so you got your punch here. It is cooking with all the fruits in there. We'll let it cook for about an hour and then let it cool down and enjoy. You want to drink it warm or hot. All right, and that is the end result. It's done. Get an idea right here. Yum. And this is the end of your ponche. You see all the different drinks right here. And in there, you've got all those ingredients that we made. Mmm. Yum.